God bless y'all. My name is Sanal Pam, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to give you guys my initial thoughts of this new animated series on Cartoon Network called Meow Meow, The Heroes of Pure Heart. And uh, what you're going to be watching me do is make a uh, sculpture of Meow Meow with a little bit of wax-based clay. I've had it in my room for a little bit, for quite a while actually, and I uh, figured why not do that instead of uh, doing a drawing? Because the drawing could actually come out good in the sculpture while it's one that totally come out bad. You know, we have, we have fun here. Uh, for, I have a couple things that I want to cover, so I'm just gonna start. The uh, first thing I want to talk about is the animation. I think the animation of the show is very nice. It's quite clean. You have, um, the characters that are quite simplified, but then you have these really intricate looking backgrounds and props, which I really do enjoy. It's kind of reminds me a lot of like the anime style where characters, since they're of course are being drawn frame by frame, are more simplistic, whereas the uh, backgrounds are used more where they, so they can be more detailed. And I do like, I do appreciate the detail that goes into those backgrounds, and also the uh, like background elements like and I only watched the first two episodes so in the second episode that I watched it had a scene where they were in a bakery and they had all these beautifully um, drawn baked goods and I really appreciated that. And, um, the next thing I want to talk about is the story having this uh, episodic comedy feel of adventures having a new adventure take place every time I think is nice. I, From what I've seen it looks like it's just going to keep on that road and it's not trying to do too many things at once, which is something that's really nice. You get something really, some things that are really confusing, like uh, Steven Universe is an obvious one where it wants to do everything at once, and I think it really just falls flat. And uh, the one thing I don't really like is the character relationship between Mau Mau and Adorabat. We're gonna get to how much Adorabat annoys me in a second, but. I just want to say that I feel that it's very, uh, insert myself into the story like the creator is inserting themselves. I don't really know the character, the creator of the show, but it really feels like a self-insert of Mau Mau being this very, uh, strong character that's, uh, basically like the perfect action hero, and then having this smaller character be, like, instantly attached to them and then being best buddies. I just... I understand, like, in a show you kind of have to have that relationship just established and move on, but I feel like it was too- one, it was too rushed, and two, I feel like it's really not organic, and I dislike it greatly. Um, speaking about uh, both Mau Mau and uh, Adorabat, I feel like they're doing the right things for the wrong reasons. Now, um, Mau Mau, he's a very, um, boastful, He's willing to do whatever it takes to become a famous, legendary hero. And he's doing these good actions of going on adventures, helping people, choosing to rid his life of adventure to help this town that he destroyed the forest field of. And he's willing to do that because that's the thing that a legendary hero would do. But then he's all ecstatic again when the villain in the first episode reveals that the city is actually very legendary in itself, and that he w too would become a legendary hero if he protected the city as its sheriff. And I just feel like his character motivation is not really to help people, and, like for the sake of helping people, it's helping people for his own goals. And then Adorabat, in episode two, uh, his, his or her, I can't really tell, their, their character is very, um, just kind of a little more self-centered. I get it because they're kind of like a child character and they don't really understand the whole scope of a situation. Very clearly, they're more thinking about their own agenda and not really what how it's going to affect the other people around them. So putting Mau Mau in this dangerous situation just for the sake of Mau him st remaining an action hero and for the sake of not to continue helping people but to teach Adorabat to be an action hero is a, 
I just feel like it's wonky. You know, they're... They're not completely watchable for me, Adorabat. They're really kind of a deal breaker for me. Just seeing that, uh... And once again, that relationship between Mau Mau and Adorabat is really annoying to me. I feel like Adorabat. I know it's supposed to be a stupid name, but it's... I feel like it's just too dumb. <laughs> you know? I kind of want to keep watching to see how it develops. I hope they kind of, like, realize that that's not really what they should be doing. Or maybe that's just the whole point of it. It's just supposed to be silly adventures, and I'm just looking too deep into it, probably. Because it's, it's uh, just a kid's show, but these things are really important to me. I wanted to talk about um, Badger Clops, because they're, they're fun. They kind of remind me of, like, this third wheel, which is kind of sad because it feels like Adorabat should be the third wheel, considering they're the newest uh, factor in the team, but uh, Badger Clops really seems to be this, like, separate entity that just helps when they they need it. Since I've only watched the first two episodes, and this is just my initial thoughts of the show itself, overall, I find it enjoyable. I just want to see how that relationship develops and hopefully, uh, Adorabat and Meow Meow will kind of just, like, relax. But, uh, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you liked it. It's more of an opinion thing than I normally do, but, uh, if you liked it, then let me know. I will do more things like this in the future. It's a fun video, and, uh, I have opinions on a lot of things, just like everybody does, so. Alright, this video is going to be over now. Bye!